it is a, a, a takeaway. So the, the message I'm trying to make is it's very context dependent. What about cooler looking? Is that takeaway? We've covered it a couple of times. My jacket? I, I like to look cool, don't I? So my jacket, I buy this jacket, that one, no, this one's cooler looking. So what do I get from being cooler looking? Maybe I'm more likely to get a job because I walk into the job looking. Maybe I'd like to pick up girls' fare. That's probably state and stress. Um, maybe the cost of, uh, I, I don't know. Do you see what I'm saying? So cooler looking sometimes can be the be-all and end-all. What about an iPod? And, you know, when, when Apple came up with their really cool looking phones, not the iPod, the iPhone, sorry. <laughs> uh, when they came up with the cool looking phone, why were people buying them? Because of the functionality or because they looked cool? It's hard, isn't it? You see? You see? And, and that's why you've got to be careful with the word cooler. It's a real stumbling block. But if you say what you get from being cooler, if, again, go back to the point about picking up more women, because back when they first came out, if I had an iPhone, I was cooler. I probably had a very simple reason for buying the iPhone. The real reason for buying the iPhone is because I could find, what's my favorite app? Uh, Gas Buddy. Anybody use Gas Buddy? Fantastic app. Lo location aware app tells you where the cheapest fuel station is for your car. So wherever you are, hit Gas Buddy and tell you where it is, give you driving directions, the cheapest fuel. Very cool. Um, but it happens to run my car. Uh, we've got a, a few more. Let's get some of these. Um, uh, I, we haven't got time. But you can see that those, some of them are features and some of them are takeaways. And frame of reference is the most important thing. Uh, oh, it's done it again. Hang on. It's jumped another slide. Uh, well, we'll do it without. Um, hang on. Okay, context, frame of reference, very important. So I put it back, it's because it's rubbish. I'd rather you listen to me, all right? So it's really, there are only two variables we're gonna play with when we start doing the exercises. One is your offering, and the other one is the buyer. Now what do you think would be in an offering? Think about your stuff. Who's, who's got software? Your software, okay. So is your software the only thing that people are buying from you? Can you give us some other things that they're buying from you? Uh, your offering consists of software plus? Plus uh, customization services, so we integrate the software. Excellent, so professional services plus? Uh, training. Excellent, what else? And support. And support, those are easy. Come on, there's a few more to squeeze out here. What about your reputation? Do you have a reputation? Okay, and what would I what would I take away from somebody with a good reputation? Anybody got an idea? Less risk. Less risk. Good man. So we're getting it. You begin to see each one of those things you're talking about has a takeaway associated. Anything else? Uh, how clever is your software? Is there IP inside it? Is there patented stuff? No, that's all right. Sometimes that gets people excited. So that put together is an offering. Are you well funded? Did you want me, Doc? You know what? I need proof, and here's a perfect example. 